Yo, what's good, Cam Crew? It's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I got two pickups. I got one hat from Liz and I got one piece from Essentials, which I'm hella excited about. So, I got two pieces that I wanted to talk to y'all about. So, with this review, y'all gonna get a full effect. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll that camera, please. Chill. Yeah. All right, y'all, what's good? Cam Crew, it's your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. Welcome back to the channel, Cooler with Cam Quarter. This is where you get content focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and of course, menswear fashion. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down and let me know that you are a part of the tribe now. Now, today, I wanted to show y'all two pieces that I picked up. Like I said, I got me a new hat from Liz and I got a new piece from Essentials. Actually, I got it from the shop of Mr. Porter and I actually found the Essential piece when I was just actually shopping for essential pieces when they was gonna drop. But let's just hop into this hat first because I'm really excited to talk about this because I haven't talked about hats in a while on here. So let me show y'all this real quick. All right, y'all, bam! This hat is fire, man. I just got me a new fitted. Newsflash for anybody that don't know, I am a huge fan of hats, especially if it comes from lids. Quick fact, when I was young, I actually thought I was going to work for lids when I got older, but that's a whole nother story. But still, if I get a hat from lids, I'm hella excited anyway, because they have like the perfect fitted caps to me. I like the brim that's on here. I like the color. Like lately, I have been into brown. I don't know what it is, but brown has just been a vibe for me. And if I'm going to pick up a hat from lids, of course, I'm going to have something that represent my city. I'm going to grab a Chicago piece and I'm I'm a Cubs fan. I know a lot of people might be like, how and you from the South side? But still, I'm still a Cubs fan. It is what it is. But the best part about this is, I, like I said, it is one of their fitted caps. They got a new color on this and that patchwork that they have on the side is fire to me. They have their actually winning gear that they won a World Series that's on the side. I love their new patch setup that they have on their new hats. These boys are fire. For anybody that don't know, these hats go for 44 bucks, $45 with tax and everything all included. But yeah, this is one of my favorite type of hats. Anything that pretty much represents me, represents where I'm from, or represents one of my favorite teams, I'm definitely gonna grab and I'm gonna buy. Uh, so y'all might just see a whole bunch of hats that say like Chicago, Chicago Bulls, Chicago Cubs, or whatever it is. But I'm gonna show y'all the actual fit. All right, y'all, boom. Yeah, this is a perfect fit for me, uh, especially with me having locks. I have like locks, so my hair gets like super, super thick. I've worn a seven and five ace for a long time. I usually like my hats to be big when I was younger, but now it's more of a fitted style. It's not too tight, not too loose, but it's just right for me to just put it on my hair real quick. And I can still keep my hair intact. You don't mess up my hair or anything like that. So it's really chill, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna actually put that together with the fit that I got today. I'm gonna actually show y'all how I put that together with the essential piece that I got today. So with that being said, let's just hop into this essential piece and let me show y'all this review real quick. All right, y'all, now check it out. I got this piece off Mr. Porter. I was just shopping around. Actually, I was looking for a brand new Essentials piece, especially looking for the drop that they was gonna have real soon. And I actually ran into Mr. Porter. The website came up and I do shop on Mr. Porter from time to time, but I actually shopped at this specific time and I ran into some luck. It was one left. And I was looking actually for this and I was looking for the cream one that they actually released as well. Those are the two top colors that I've been trying to get for the longest. At first, the cream one only came in kid size and I was a little bit jealous, but they end up coming out with adult sizes. So I was really happy about that. But then I actually got this and I love this one. I like this color. This is not like that super, super dark chocolate color. It's like the perfect type of brown that I enjoy because it matches with the olive greens that I have. It matches with the blues that I want to match this with. The darker ones are pretty dope for like black jeans and everything like that. But I've been really, like I said, getting into like this olive green, this sand and colors like that. It's really been important for me when I've been getting into my styling and everything like that. So this is perfect. Now, one thing I will tell you for everybody that was asking, like I said, it was all off Mr. Porter's that's why I found it it went only for a hundred dollars I was expecting it to be like that especially for it to have like this type of quality of course it's gonna be a hundred dollar sweater and it's essentials of course I like the simplicity of it I like that it just has the simple name essentials the fear of God essentials joint and then on the back you have that rubber essentials that is listed on the back as well you'll also see like the essentials branding that's on the wrist of the arm as well which I think is pretty dope it's not too much branding it's something so simple like that's why it's called essentials 
essentials. Now, one thing I will tell you about this is that it is pretty heavy. This is thick, kind of like that half zip that I have, the half zip essentials that I have. It's pretty heavy, but that's a good thing, especially for this time in like the winter and leading into the spring. It's not too heavy to the point where it will overheat you, but it's also heavy enough for you to keep warm at the same time and wear like an underlayer underneath this uh, underneath this sweater. So it's pretty dope. Now also on the inside, it's really soft on the inside. On the exterior, it's more of a rough fabric, but on the inside, it's more of a softer fabric on the inside. So I feel like a lot of insulation that's on the inside, that is what's gonna keep you warm. And I really do like that because it's soft on here. It's soft on the inside, so I think that's pretty fire too. Now for anybody who's worried about the fitting, it is not like the hoodies and everything. It's not super big. It's not crazily overexposed or anything like that. This is actually like a a true to size fit from top to bottom so from neck down it's a perfect fit so if you wear XL normally get an XL if you want a perfect fit now if you want something that's a little bit bigger go one size up if you want something smaller go one size down but like I said this is a true to fit the only thing that is a little bit exaggerated is the arms that's on here you'll see that it's a little bit heavier like if I was to show this arm on this shirt you'll see that it's more slimming on my arm and more fitting on my arm but if I wear this the arms on here are super big it's wide they're thick they're wide so it looks baggier on your arms so you have this perfect fit with a huge arm with a wide arms so it look a little bit baggier and at the same time the width of the sweater is wide as well so you have a box fit with baggier arms but at the same time it's a perfect fit from neck down to the waist anybody that's actually been worrying about how it's gonna fit get your size like your actual size so like I said if you wear a medium get a medium if you're wear a normal XL get an XL that will fit perfect for you now you all have been asking a lot about the Jerry Lorenzo drops how will I know about when the essential drops come and I really do a lot of research so I'll be watching and I'm always having my notifications clicked on so I will have things listed below like places that you all can check from time to time now I'm a huge fan of not only the essential pieces I'm also a fan of the fear of God pieces so there are a lot of things that you all will see like in the future that I will be dropping when it comes to me picking out fear of God pieces I do love their shirts I love the baseball jerseys I do love some of their sports jackets that they have so Jerry Lorenzo has been doing his thing now I don't know if you all are more so interested in fear of God or just essentials but when it comes to more affordable fashion I'm pretty sure like essentials is something that you all would like to go to one is more affordable even though it is expensive but two at the same time is really good quality and it's really good when it comes to streetwear fashion so it's perfect for anybody that's really in this realm of streetwear fashion want some comfortability and want to just be really stylish this is perfect for you so if this is your first time really getting into streetwear you're trying to find out hey where should i start essentially would be a good place for you to start and i think that it will be a great price way for you to start it's like right there in the middle so you can save up a hundred dollars and you will have a great quality piece that you could continuously wear over and over again without having to just wear it one time and put it away so with that being said i'm about to get up out of here thank y'all for watching i'm gonna catch up with y'all next time i'm out i'm gone i'll holla at y'all peace